Sean Sport in podcast form. Plenty happening over the weekend of sport, including last night. The F1s were in action. Max Verstappen winning his seventh straight mm. uh, F1 race. So he needs two more victories to equal the record in a season, which is Ooh. nine straight. He's going absolutely uh, gangbusters. Daniel Ricciardo didn't have such a great day. 16th he finished, but it was worse for Australian Oscar Piastri, who was crashed into in the opening lap. Bugger. So straight away, and we've... You know, we know how to race um, the fast cars. Yes, we've been out we? to Barbagallo. We yeah. We're very good at it. Um, the first corner, mm. Carlos Sainz just comes in and, and takes his line and crushes him into the into the wall. That's, and what, it wasn't... that's, that's what I'd do to you. <laughs> you wouldn't win that battle. Oh, yeah, I would. Just no, get you off. No, just get you off the you track. So straight I away. Do, so Natalie and I could do business. You wouldn't even see it coming. <laughs> no. Mate, the... Just get the clown out of the way so the two I, professionals I, could you, take You wouldn't laugh. This is why you wouldn't laugh because I'm prepared to crash at any case. And die for the sport. <laughs> and you guys are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I did Rally Australia one year, and I was on the start line in the final against this guy who played uh, for the Hockey Roos. <laughs> yes. And I just knew at the time, he's not ready to crash this car, I am. <laughs> and over that first jump, I just launched it and off we went. I get too distracted to be in competitive um, street yes. racing and stuff. Um, Natalie right. and I, we, Natalie we, and I we were. We learned this at the drag. Does that matter my land? Natalie no, 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 at the drags one time and we were dragging each other. Oh, right? that's so right. the crowd's yes. going like berserk. And, yeah, and the and lights very start counting down. And um, the lights, you know, you know yeah. Yeah, so while the that's tree. happening, like I've I've turned and someone's, like, people are waving me, so I'm just waving at them. The next minute I turn around, Natalie's halfway down the track. <laughs> I go bloody miss that. I get too distracted. Yeah, and the funny car behind you is beeping. Yeah, all, <laughs> time to go, mate. The nitro funny car. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that times. is great. Anyway, that's what happened last night. Also, um, Australian netball team doing particularly well yeah. over in South Africa. Well, I mean, they haven't we played, played no the, one. The Tonga, real, yeah. Fiji, yeah. Yeah. all the yeah. gang there. Um, we scored 100 Zambia. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not, not bad at all, yeah. but uh, undefeated and we'll keep progressing through, which is um, good news for the girls. Tonight, the Matildas back in action, all to play for. Sam Kerr, yes or no? No. She's going to play at some stage, I is believe. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. they're suggesting that she will Who's they? take to the field. Their coach, Tony Gustafsson. I know, but... Oh, right. I know, but yeah, they've you know. been suggesting that she might play for a while yeah. now. <laughs> like, I mean, and they admitted before the first game when that, you know, she was pretending she was going to play and then knowing that she was already... In oh, there. yeah, yeah. But, so, yeah, you, you know, do Ducks do and that, Drake. Yeah. So, you but, you know, there's no doubt that that's happening again. She should be able to get through a period of the game. Now, I'd imagine that clearly she's going to start on the bench and if she comes on for 10 minutes, she comes on for 10 minutes. But um, if they don't get through, the knives are going to be out for this guy. Now, leading up to this, we had a great run in. We were yes. beating every team. Yeah, we're we playing were. all the top teams around the world. We've got a home World mm. Cup. People going, can we win it? Mm. Of course we can. And we're staring down the battle of getting done of tonight. Not, of not, not getting not, through not to the knockout section, yeah. The coach, Tony Gustafsson, knows there's plenty to play for. We know how this business works, that there's always going to be a lot of opinions, including in this room. Uh, and most likely when you lose a game as well, as I've said before, as a, as a coach or a team, you're never better than your last game. So right now, I'll probably sit up here and, and it's not that best of a coach. Uh, we know that's how this business works. And we try to control the controllables. Yeah, so everyone's saying that he's made some poor moves along the journey. But mm. I think when you look at the whole picture of it, Sam Kerr, the bet, one of the best players in the world, is not yes. playing. That's your gun. Yeah. And then some of the girls who got yeah, injured Mary over the Fowler last couple of games. Yeah. another one, yeah. Mary, Mary Fowler. So, you know, it, that's so hard to be judged on. He'll probably yes. get the ass as of the end of this if they can't get through tonight. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, well. a really big call. You uh, hurt um, Sam Kerr, so... <laughs> Whatever you, you did in that training session, yeah, which well, obviously was a bit too full on. And all the injuries have happened in training. What is I going know. on in their uh, training so. sessions? Yeah, maybe they should on, stop they? getting people from the side throwing javelins at the pe- <laughs> yes. people. Like, like. How'd you get that calf injury? Well, got, the javelin in there. got the shot put in the side of the... Anyway, <laughs> They're throwing shot puts at you. I know, it's so it's strange. Weird, isn't it? I don't weird. understand it. And yesterday and on the weekend, actually, Nat alluded to it, the Fremantle Dockers getting up over Geelong. Um, That's a great they, win. They That's the a great win. outsiders of all time. And... I was at Nepal on the weekend, and um, old mate Hazelby, he says to me, "Oh, you having a having a bit of a flutter on um, Fremantle?" And I said, "No way!" He goes, "Mate, this is a deal. You know, nine to one. We always win down there. We've done particularly you do, well. You do have a good record there, yeah." And they played really well, so congratulations to the doctors. So you down didn't there. bet on them? Of no, course they didn't. Of that course would, they didn't. And did your mum get there or not? Yeah, my mum said she was definitely not going. She went to the Carlton Collingwood game, and she yes. thought it'd be an absolute waste of her space getting down to Geelong to watch the game with a couple of my aunties. And eventually the the 
I guess the pride of the purple got the better of her. She jumped on the train and went down, so she watched Saw that game. Saw the victory. Well done, And Sue. tonight she's going to watch um, uh, the World Cup game, yeah. so she's off to that. But for the West Coast Eagles, woo! Up and about, oh, mate. They we got to win. For dear life. Seriously. I was on, the pl- on a plane coming back from Melbourne for the whole thing, and so I was checking the score on the dodgy Wi-Fi, and I'm like... What is going on? Like, it didn't seem to make sense that we kept them scoreless in the third quarter and then basically just stood there for the last quarter and watched them kick goal after goal. Um, yeah, have a was, that's exactly how it was played now. So the Dockers won, yes? Yes. And the Eagles won? Yes. yes. Why was the Eagles song played and the Dockers song wasn't played? Because it's more of a miracle that the Eagles won. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I know, but you're having a go at Harry there. Yeah, well, he should it was, have played just, the it was surprising because it was two wins. We haven't had mm. wins for a while. Yeah, that's true, Nathan. Very we true. haven't the, had the two wins. And yes. the Dockers. I mean, I think it was round four the, last yeah. year. I mean, I'm just... Oh. Team are you sure they're right? Harry, no, no, no. It's don't too force me to play it. Uh, I don't want to force you to play it, but, the, I, I mean, a win's a win. A win is a win, and we should hear both songs, Harry. Nathan... There's some tough decisions to make behind this desk, okay, mate? Yeah, and yeah. I just appreciate yeah. it if you could just let me yeah. do my you thing. Don't, but you don't. This is this is what we call an audio grub, guys. And I'm, from what I, I I understand, we don't have a quota that you can play no, per day. We don't. We don't. don't. Have quota. <laughs> well done to the Eagles. Much relief for them and their football club. They yes. fell over the line didn't yesterday, they just, didn't they? Um, but with much relief, as I said. So good luck to we'll Adam take Simpson it. We'll and take the it. team. So it's a pleasure to have the big Pav, uh, Matthew Pavlich, in the studio. Is, Pav, oh. We were just talking um, off air about yeah. uh, conflicts in um, uh, contract negotiations and the like. And I actually want to bring this up now uh, before we get into the weekend's footy. The NRL have been going through it at yeah. the moment because Net the players too. and netball, yep. they've decided they're not going to they're going to black out the logo, uh, logo if I stick with the NRL mm. for a second that says Telstra, Premiership Season yep. and NRL. Because they want a better collective bargaining agreement. Oh, I thought they were just advertising gaffer tape. <laughs> I thought that was in lots, 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 of, lots of money in gaffer tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big, yeah, big gaffer. Big gaffer. And you're right, Natalie's got their hands in everything. <laughs> you had a lot to do with the AFL's player negotiations yeah. when you were the president. Um, does it, is the NRL just trying to catch up to what you've guys what you set in place? I'm not. I haven't followed the NRL one overly closely. The AFL one's still to be done as well, which is you know the expiry date uh, is long overdue on that one as well. Is so it, yeah, really? there's, yeah, there's a fair bit of oh, not tension. I, I mean, I we'll we'll come back to that one. But the yeah. NRL one's interesting because I think um, when you get to that point of industrial relations yes. in terms of you know, doing things that the public sees or that it yes. feels as though it's like, okay, no, we need to make a stance here. And I think they've started to block out some of the media. No, we're not going to speak to them anymore So wow. until such a deal is done. so That must have been something with us. <laughs> I, I think you're right. It's happened a lot, actually. Now that makes sense. Yeah. Everyone comes to you guys. Come on. You know. <laughs> so welcome. Um, but they, yeah, so, but the seat, going to the a- AFL one, um, you know, the men and women, are, they're trying to do a deal together for the first time instead of them doing well, separately. Well, that's good. Which is fantastic for the game. Um, because did the cricketers do one together? Is that? Uh, that's a good question. I think yeah. they may have. Yeah. yeah, they may have. So they had the about 2016, 17. They had a huge issue as well with uh, Cricket Australia, mm. and they basically they they were enemies, and that it took them ages to get their deal done, um, which was a little bit of the the toxic environment I think cricket had back then. And mm. you think about the, what happened on the field not long after yes. that, pretty significant issues. They've got through that, and, and we can talk about the cricket as well. How well. The the openers are going overnight. Let's fingers crossed we uh, we can hang in there. But go the rain. Yeah. Well, no. Go <laughs> no, go. We, we didn't want the rain last night. No. But, uh, oh well. And, we're happy and for a draw though, aren't we? Because then we no, we want to win. We want to win this one. Now we're in a position. Come on now. We want to win this one. Um. But <laughs> so the the AFL ones. So the the women and the men are, are doing it together. Um. For the first time in terms of trying to get the deal done. I know there's a bit of tension around not only the revenue share but the exponential growth in the women's game. They're obviously wanting to get a larger mm. share of that, which is fair enough. Yeah. The men are saying, well, we've been here for so long. There's a little bit of tension going yeah. on there, is my understanding. And the grounds are changing rapidly with, yeah, with esports, yeah. Absolutely. And then I think the, uh, the AFL are saying, well, we'll maintain uh, the revenue sharing aspect of it, which is about 27 20%, uh, 28% of the overall revenue that's generated mm. in the game. They want a share of that. But, yeah, it's an interesting one. So, mm. yeah, I think the NRL's got to a, um, a flashpoint, really, in terms of it becoming, well, 
can we get a deal done or yeah. we have yeah. to down tools? Can I just add to this? Um, I'm kind of just stuck in this at the moment. I apologise. Well, but... No, the the NFL you were, we were talking about as well. Well, yeah. you know a lot about the American sport yep. model and you would have looked into this. So mm. you just mentioned um, the AFL, 27%. They're kind of looking at that kind of revenue share. How does it work in the US when you were looking at it before? Well, I mean, much larger percentages. And it's a different... Um, mechanism because you've got individual owners over yeah. there yeah. Um, and so it, you, the, we'll talk about the screenwriters uh, aspect at, this, at the moment where they're striking effectively mm. in Hollywood um, every 10 or so years it happens either um, in the NFL uh, NHL the hockey or the M, uh, MLB yeah. the, the, oh, uh, and, and the basketball yeah. as well so um, they get much larger percentage shares, you know, sort of 50, 60%, um, but they're restricted a lot more um, in terms of they can get traded at any point, yes. uh, they can get cut at any point. Um, and look, I think there's some merit in that, but imagine you know moving over to Perth, you bring your family over yeah. and then mid-season you, you, you ship back and yeah. you know, if you're getting paid a couple of hundred grand, which is good money, but it's not the money, millions of bucks to, that these yeah, guys get paid. Yeah, to your entire yeah, family. The family yeah. And, yeah. and all the change that would come with that. But at the moment, the uh, the NFL teams um, are probably about to start their contact training for, for the first time before the preseason matches. And So they're not allowed to touch each other before not now? Not allowed to touch each other before now. Yeah, wow. that's, that's a part of the contracts. And then I've, they... been, I've been doing this training for a while. <laughs> <laughs> no actually, human contact whatsoever. Yeah. You one, never get to one contact One day we'll get to the, you need, you need to to the scrummage. You need, to, you need a new manager. Yeah, you need to negotiate your contract. <laughs> Do you want to... Uh, about pays to look after my contract. <laughs> um, get me across the line. So, and but guys just don't turn up because they haven't signed their contracts and they're getting fined, you know, 50, 100k a day oh. not to turn up. Oh. Yeah. Um, but you know, eventually they'll they'll work through that tension and they'll sign the deal. So, yeah, interesting times across um, in Australia, particularly, particularly with some of these CBAs. But yeah, globally, there's always there's always tension between owners. Sometimes yes. they shut the doors, no, <laughs> you're not going to come in anymore. Imagine being in a, in a, in, in a position where a fifty thousand dollar or hundred thousand dollar a day it's fine, crazy. you don't really care. Yeah, that's it's right. Unbelievable. Like, that's imagine just, that. Imagine you're just that. Going, oh, oh, I'll cop oh, it. I'll eat that. I'll eat that. Yeah. <sighs> unbelievable. Oh. Pav, there was so much sport on the weekend. Where do we so start? Much. Let's go with the game yesterday for West Coast supporters because they needed that victory for their own soul. Speaking of drought breaking, uh, Nathan. What's that? <laughs> The victory yesterday. Yeah, We're I heard. talking about your drought just yeah, before. I, you yeah, yeah. No, I, I heard. I think it's really great for them. I mean, like, you know, it's not going to do anything really, is it? No, what, no, what Pav's well, saying is if, it was the, if West Coast can win, there's hope for you as well. Yeah. That's what he's no, saying. No, no, no. All the luck has gone to West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> and they needed all that it was, luck. Wasn't it a super convincing win? No, no, no look, it, it was wasn't. not. <laughs> Strange game because West Coast started so well uh, and they were playing the way that Adam Simpson has been trying to play yes. for a long time. They had the ball locked in their front half. They were turning it over um, really well and they were scoring off turnover. And then North Melbourne was so dominant in the clearance and they were absolutely smashing them. Second quarter, they got right on top. Paul mm. Curtis, four goals, probably should have been five. Oh missed that God. sitter from the goal square. And then they had all the momentum. Third quarter turns, West Coast um, again. Held them right scoreless. On top. Yeah, and they were brilliant. And then I think they probably should have been further in front at three-quarter time. I think they kicked three goals, six yeah. or seven in that third term. And then they just hung on. They they were <laughs> shot. All the young players could hardly move in that last quarter, and they did a great job of hanging on. Five-point so, victory. And um, you could see the relief on yes. not only the players. You know, Tim Kelly Everybody. was looking at yeah. the skies. Yes. There was uh, Paul Fitzpatrick, the chairman. You had players down the rooms. Just that... Uh, enjoyment for a little moment That's of the yes. win. Is I like important. that for the, for the it was, guys. It was more, it wasn't jubilation with the victory. It all. was relief. Yeah, yeah, relief. It was yeah. thoroughly Total relief. relief. So, yeah. Rain Man, do the math. Does this mean that mathematically they're still in with the chance? <laughs> <laughs> is this, for what? The no, number one me. draft pick? Don't no. me. If you carry the one, mathematically, if you carry the one, the one by pie. Yeah, no chance. They're no. still uh, bottom of the ladder. The, by the, the team that does have a small <laughs> chance oh, if you do the math. Get the calculator. Is Fremantle, believe it or not. This is a great win. It is a huge win. And I think the frustration. Probably for most Fremantle fans, is where was this? Yeah, you know, why the can't last they play like this all the time? And, yeah. and that's the inconsistency of that young team at the moment. But go down to Geelong, which has always been a, a really challenging place, particularly for WA teams to win. Uh, and they go down there and play a game that looks like a Fremantle branded game when they're at their very best. Yeah. Pressure was fantastic. Locked the ball in the forward half. Their defence all across the ground, but particularly Alex Pierce and Luke Ryan were, were fantastic down back. 
A couple of injuries to key Geelong players certainly helped. Tom Hawkins did his hammy, so did Mark Blixarves. Yeah. But they were fantastic, Shorty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they do keep that slim finals hope. And Frankie. Well, I'm not big of that. Oh, Freddie. Goal Freddie. of the year. Goal. Oh, it, was it, was, a, it, was a, a it was a crazy goal. But um, I, I'd take my hat off to Alex Pierce because I thought he was under pressure, outstanding. And Justin Longmuir... He acknowledged, to, well, he wanted everybody to know that Alex has got an injury and yes. he's been playing all year. Yeah. And people are questioning his leadership and he's an absolute yeah. model citizen. He's an absolute ripper. But he played a game and he was beating Tom Hawkins anyway. Yeah, he was. Hands down, constantly. Well, so. And I think what he'll, so he'll say, yep, look, my hand up, I haven't been playing great. But I think he would have probably put some onus on the pressure up. When you play forward and when you play yeah. back, you are a byproduct of what happens yes, in, in the, the middle. middle. Yeah. If you get... Silver services afford your you look a million dollars, and it, the, the the converse thing happens as well. If you don't get great service, Nathan has then no the, idea the what you're talking <laughs> about. It's, not, it's like following algebra. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the, the front, the back, and the, the middle, the sil- okay. and the silver service. <laughs> I don't really get to see what's happening in the yeah. middle. Is there, is there, <laughs> there's a guy there with a cloche. Oh, yeah. no, no, just like, oh my God. Get the white gloves on. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. But but yeah, so yeah. if you're if your midfield and your forwards are putting a lot of pressure on you. Defensively, you can look amazing, and mm. that's what happened on the weekend. Alex Pierce played a great game, but he was very much helped by his midfield yeah. and forward group. And Luke so, Jackson, so you're saying, good too. you're saying when it you all kicked all those sense. goals that um, it was because of the It was all because of me. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that sounds right. That sounds noise. right. <laughs> uh, and Pab, just quickly, the um, Ashes tonight. You, you can so Australia no, win it? Absolutely. Yeah, I, w- I would have loved to have batted a little bit longer last night. That rain probably came at a, a wrong time. What are you laughing at? I'm just going to get that <laughs> sentence in isolation. You batted oh. a bit longer. <laughs> we, all, we all would have batted a bit longer, Nathan. Um, um, anyway, uh, bowling from the roughest and something that <laughs> you should be aware of or know about. But anyway, um, none for 136. Kawaja and Warner looking really, really strong. That rain didn't come at a good time uh, because I thought we had all that momentum. We could have gone further uh, into that lead that England have. Um, day five, yeah, it starts again tonight. Cannot wait for this. Channel Nine, of course, is uh, the station you can tune in and watch it live yep. and free. And Stuart Broad's song, uh, Swan Song. That's he it. Now I wonder what James Anderson is going to do as well. He's he's forty one. Is he really? He's, really? My, he's yeah. my age and he's Mr. still Anderson. playing. Far out. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, so why do you hang out the beat so early, mate? Yeah. Because I couldn't do it any longer. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> obvious. Cricket's <laughs> 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 just standing next to birds. That's true. That's true. All right, thanks, Pat. Just standing next to birds. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. No, he's, 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 we've seen many you know games what? where the seagulls are on the field. Yeah. How many mm. times have you played and there's been a bird sitting next to you? They don't. You know why? Because you're doing stuff. <laughs> what is cricket? <laughs> you're saying it, pal. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's it seems to be coming out of your mouth. So. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.